This time, it's the Ron Haslam Race School. In September, we'll enter the closure of the Ron Haslam Race School. This is a result of the Covid crisis, and in particular its effects on the Honda Motorcycle Company, who are a major contributor to the school. It had been here that Tom had made his first tentative steps onto motorcycles, or rather, his first attempts to ride a motorcycle with gears and clutch. This had gone so well, and Tom had enjoyed it so much, that the following year we decided the Tom should take to the Donington Park circuit as part of the Ron Haslam Race School. Here riders from 12 years and upwards were able to ride bikes ranging from a 125 to a full-on CBR 500. This would be Tom's first experience on an open road at speeds of much above 10 miles an hour. Not surprisingly, he was shown a little bit of nerves. He didn't need to ride alone. Unfortunately, I had shoulder surgery and couldn't. So Deb bravely stepped up to the bridge and took to the track herself on board a CBR 500R. While Tom sat aboard a CBR 300. It should be noted that Deb's only previous experience on a motor circuit had been at Mallory Park on board a 1950s 125. Probably with a top speed no more than 45 miles an hour. This was going to be something different. And Deb herself was experiencing some nervous trepidation. And so at last, he was out onto the circuit for the 30 minutes track experience. Each rider being escorted by an experienced racer who shows each rider the correct line around the track. And after a couple of sighting laps, it gradually began to increase the pace, just to see what each rider is capable of, and ensuring that everybody gets a great experience, but stays within the limits of their own abilities. Tom, for example, was understandably very nervous, but he gradually picked up his pace as the session progressed. After a few laps, it was back into the pits, Deb's nerves having now vanished completely. Time is taken for a debrief at this point to give the riders time to calm the nerves, get rid of that adrenaline and to get some feedback on how they've done so far and to get some valuable pointers about how best to take to the track as the session continued. Tom, as usual, took the feedback very seriously and really learned a great deal from the pointers that were given. Deb was rather more light-hearted but she still felt that she learned a great deal from the track session. And so, after more advice, hints, tips and feedback, it was time once again to take to the circuit to see if we could put some of that advice to good use. And so round Tom roared, until eventually the half hour was up and the track session had come to an end. And so it was back to the pits. But now anxious expressions were replaced by broad smiles. Well, for Deb at least, Tom remained analytical throughout. And now the hard work began. Slalom through cones. Emergency brake tests and lots of slow manoeuvring. And then they formed up on a mini circuit marked out with cones. And here they practice cornering. Cornering at low speed. Cornering with hands removed from the handlebars. Cornering with the throttle closed. Corner after corner. 
as confidence built and speeds grew. Dev had a great time, but it was Tom who impressed. A boy with no motorcycle experience, who was cornering with the best of them. Cornering as if he'd been doing it for years. And when the session was over, he knew that his future lay on two wheels. The school, of course, ran groups for much more experienced riders too. And these took to the track as our session drew to a close. And so two years later, when we heard that the school was closing, we decided to have one last run out. And so this time all three of us took to the track. The weather may have been poor, but it made no difference to us. For this was a tremendous day out. And it seems it's great pity the Honda have decided to withdraw their support and that the school has been forced to close. But really I'd like to thank Ron Haslam and the team. They really did provide us with a wonderful experience and one that I will not forget for a very long time indeed. Thank you Ron. Thank you.